Alert the outpost. Maybe they'll send out the deacons. Need to get to the bottom of Look, I get it. You can't handle it when it gets messy. Jonah? Jonah, come in, please. He's not gonna answer, Lara. What? He's dead. Now you can add your friend Jonah to the list of people you've gotten killed. Fuck you, Rock. If you want to pick up his body, it's at the refinery. I'm coming for you.
You can't hide from me, Rourke. You are fucking dead. This is Rourke. I've been called back to Can. Winters, Croft is all yours. Cardinal 2. Reinforcements on the ground. Rock's gone. 
I'm making everything worse. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> hey, you're not. We can do this. Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> what was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very mine. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. It could be dozens. Not within trekking distance from Paititi. Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you? Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? No. Since we were kids. She was a nerd. I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while, I could convince Sara to come with me. Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well... I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her up. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. 
Be careful if you go out to the graveyard, miss. A witch lives there. She likes to turn people into frogs. I'll be sure to watch myself. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. <sighs> <sighs> And under his wings, you may seek refuge. Under his wings. A heron and an eclipse. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. Tardaremos eternidades. ¿Cuántos años? Un paso a la vez. Un día a la vez. Como si tuviera dos elecciones. like it's from the 17th century. Someone once said if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyards. I don't know why. One is the same as the next. Some might be a little more orderly, with neat rows, or they're like this one, 
where it feels more natural and unplanned. You're not getting your hands on our treasure. I don't care about fish. I care about respect for the dead. Calling me a witch? <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh, you sound like Issa. Isabella, the archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl, a good researcher, and unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away, but I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. <laughs> 